Israel is the calendar. Amen. God's time people. Amen. So if you're watching Israel, then you ought to know where you are on God's time people Amen. right now. And that's right before, then all this is going to take place right before the great tribulation. Amen. Right before Jacob's trouble. Amen. For Israel is uh, persecuted again. Amen. And God said to them, flee to the mountains. Amen. 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 People don't always understand that what's taking place in the world. They so busy worrying about their next meal. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. People worry about the destination of your soul. Amen. Where am I going when my body sees the function? Amen. When I give up the ghost, is the grave the end, or is there more? Well, I hear Pastor Claus' words. You are not the body. Amen. You are a spirit being that possesses an identity personality that is housed in a physical body. Amen. And once that physical body ceases to function, which is your birth suit that was given you the function on this planet, you go to God. Somebody say, I go to God. I go to God. But, Hebrews 9, 27, one of them once die after that the yes. judgment. Brother chapter Ecclesiastes, when man dies, after he dies, his spirit goes back to God that he did. Amen. Amen. So don't let nobody fool you. You are never going to die. Yes. I mean, what they call it, cessation of life will never happen for you. You will still continue to function, but on another plane. What is the other plane? Spirit realm. People always walk around here talking about, I heard my grandma. I saw my mom. I saw my dad. I saw my granddad. I saw my uncle. But then they, they be talking about when they did the integration. Well, well, who did you saw? It was the spirit, right? Whether it be the real spirit or a familiar spirit, it was a spirit. So that's a spirit world. And nothing exists without a spirit. I'm going to go to the first Corinthians, the fourth chapter. That's something I want to touch on. Happy Father's Day, fathers. I hope you're a real father indeed. Amen. Not a sperm don't. I might need to say that one more time. All you fathers, happy Father's Day. And I hope you're a father indeed and not a sperm don't. But we got too many of them. Amen. Amen. A whole lot of mothers raising their kids by themselves. Too many. I might say too many. Too many. These such things ought not to be. Amen. What the father rep represents the authority in the home. Now you got women trying to be the authority in the home. And they went so far, now you got women want to be men. You know, it's one thing for a woman just to like a woman. But then you gonna want to be a man too. Something wrong with that. That's that that really twisted. But you know what they say? Because the scientists say, no, the scientists didn't say that. The scientists said that he found something that might cause people to be like that. It was never a proven fact. But then the ones that were twisted read it, took that document, and carried it beyond where that scientist said he should have gone. He came right out and said it. And then all of a sudden, them twisted folk that came into the money start advocating senators and representatives to get people to, to stop talking against it. Mm -hmm. A mutation is a mutation, no matter how you spell it. Amen. <laughs> Being politically correct is not going to change it. Nope. You're mutated. Right. And if you're mutated, you're just mutated. Ask for help. Amen. 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 The God you serve can do anything. Amen. He healed the halt, the main, and the withered. Amen. Went so far even raising the dead. So if he can heal the halt, the main, and the withered, I'm sure he can put back what should have been there that you claim that wasn't there. Amen. <laughs> no, and I don't have no phobia. I had people that I considered close friends. Uh, of mine until they decided they're trying to convert me. Mm -hmm. 
The government is wicked. Yes. Amen. They tell us Christians in the military that we can't convert people to Christianity. Mm -hmm. But then they will order these soldiers into a meeting and have these people that are twisted in their thinking yeah. stand up on a platform mm -hmm. to convert them over to that kind of thinking. So you go force something as an aberration, a mutation, and a variant from nature mm. at being natural, off on rational-minded people. But then we will say that there is a God, Amen. and he had a son, and his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. And that in order for us to be able to please that God, right. we need to become the servant of that Lord Jesus mm. Christ, that son Jesus Christ. That we are trying to force our relationship, our, re our faith off on other people. No, we give people an opportunity. Yeah, right. If they don't want to hear it, they don't have to come to us. Yeah. They don't have to listen to us. We don't order them into a room. No. No. Hallelujah. We don't put little five-year-old, a six-year-old, a seven-year-old in a classroom and set this aberrant behavior in front of them and treat them that that's normal. Amen. Amen. That's and you're going to call us backwards and you're a terrorist. Hello? Yeah. The devil is alive. Yeah. And then judgment fall on every one of you. Yes. Yeah. When you come to the knowledge yeah. that you can turn from your wickedness. Yeah. None of that is rational. Yeah. None of that is rational. But then they try to tell us that we can want to be rational. Yeah. They paid and bought their way into power so they can silence our mouths. Yeah. Nothing they say is intellectually Astute. <laughs> it is intellectually deprived of any rationality. Mm -hmm. You cannot sit down with a rational minded person and convince them that that is right behavior. Mm -hmm. Amen. Only to those that are already depraved, mm -hmm. who wants to do things that are contrary to human nature, mm -hmm. will they do that? And people look at me sometimes and they say, Dr. Carl, why are you like that? I guess because I love truth. <laughs> Thank you. If I didn't love the truth, I'd let everybody believe the lie they want to believe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. But you can't change the facts. Amen. No matter how many lies, no matter how many theories you come up with, it's not going to change the fact. Amen. It is what it is. Amen. Hello? So accept it. That's what you want to do. Do it, but don't try to push it off as being true because Amen. it's not. Amen. It's a lie. And that's the way you want to live. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. No, it's no. two ways in front of you. Death right. and life. You choose. You say you choose. That's it. And say so that's what true Christians do. We give people an option. Mm -hmm. They don't want to give you an option. That's why they're trying to pass laws to take that option from you. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're trying to pass laws to take that option from you to be able to choose mm -hmm. the lifestyle that you want to use. No one has to come to this house. No one has to listen to this broadcast. Yeah. No one. It's their choice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now, if I tie you in a chair, pry your eyes open, <laughs> keep you from closing your eyelids, mm. and broadcast this to you, then I forced it on you. Yeah. But by offering it, I'm not forcing nothing on you. Yeah. You can walk away. Yeah. Hmm. But they're trying to make it seem like that's what church people do. Yeah. Y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. So now they're trying to make it a crime for us to win somebody away from that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Saying that we forced our belief off on them. Well, why y'all in the school system? Why are the military trying to force that off on them? Why you tell your police officer that they got to go to these uh, behavior programs? Yeah. Mm. Are they going to have to give up their job? Who's forcing who? Mm -hmm. So you still got people out there rational that's not a Christian, that's not a Buddhist, not a Hindu, but none of that. They just think rational. Yeah. But they're not hearing the, both sides of the story. Mm -hmm. They just hear one side. Mm -hmm. They're not hearing the truth. It's time to wake up, saints. Yeah. You think it's time to wake up? Yeah. There's a hidden agenda going on. Mm. And it's a satanic agenda. Yes, they're throwing their fists up in our Father's face yeah. and defying him. Yeah. Say, do it again. Let me tell you something, Bilal. And I know you're listening to all the people that you possess. 
It's not going to be water this time. It's going to be fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Build all the cities on the ground you want to build. Yeah. Yeah. Steal the money from the people that didn't lie about global warming when you know you know the earth is off its axis and it's wobbling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that the global shift going on when you try to tell them it's global warming. They don't global warming. And it got nothing to do with no carbon dioxide. No. Got everything that's something that happened in our universe that threw the earth off its axis. Right. That's it. And you up there trying to steal these folks' money with that lie so that you can build your little shelters up on the ground and these ships that you're trying to build, so you can escape God's judgment. He said you can flee into the heavens and I'm there. Yes. To the lower part of the earth, lower even I'm even there. Yes. <laughs> Where shall I flee from the presence of God? Nowhere. Amen. Nowhere. So run wherever you want to run, baby. You're going to run right into God. Let me quit. Nine verse, four chapter, verse three. That ain't come to me, y'all. <laughs> But I think that God has set forth us the apostles last and were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and the angels and the men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but we are strong. We are honorable, but we are despised. Even in this very present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. And labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the obscurity of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. But though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, you have, have ye, yet have ye not many fathers. But in Christ Jesus, Paul said to them, I have begotten you through the gospel. Mm -hmm. 16 verse Wherefore I beseech you, what did he say, y'all? Be you followers. Be what? Followers. Be what? Followers. Y'all wish you in that man. Bow down to that man. <laughs> I'll deceive the people be. If y'all wish me bow down to me, I, I probably had to figure out some other way to live by faith. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But thank God for you anyway. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, we appreciate everything. We thank you for all that you are, all that you're doing and you're going to do. Nothing, oh God, is hidden from you. Your eyes are over us and your ears are open in our cry. Whenever we are in trouble, you see us. Whenever we cry, you, you hear us. We're never alone. You're always with us. And I heard the word of God say, you'll never leave us, nor forsake us. So I pray that today your presence be acknowledged. Everyone here, everyone listening to me by way of the social media. God, that you begin to move in their behalf and their hearts and in their minds. For the word declares the interest of it gives life and understanding. So I thank you that they'll receive illumination today. That their minds will be enlightened, their hearts will be filled with the joy and the, the glory of knowing that their sins are forgiven and washed away. It is the anointing of the Holy Ghost that accomplishes all this. And I yield to him, I surrender him, as I welcome him to have his way. That one said in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen again. Amen. So Paul said, I beseech ye be ye followers of me. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Amen. You know, one of the biggest things that's wrong today, and I'm going to go to 6 chapter book of Galatians. One of the biggest things wrong today, people do not want to communicate with those that teach mm -hmm. in every good thing. Y'all mm -hmm. amen. amen. They don't want to call, respect the preacher, they'll call the psychiatrist out and when you get in trouble. Amen. And I, I've heard a lot of doctors say this a lot of times. You need to get an examination there once a week, once a year. Amen. Just, just go to the doctor because you see it. Because you could have some underlying ailment. That's what they want to say. Amen. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Now, I'm not against the medical field. I thank y'all for them. And, uh, they were very helpful uh, when I was in the hospital going through my little battle. But, uh, <laughs> but if it had been up to some of them, I'd be gone. Amen. Thank y'all for those that were faithful. There was one particular one. I won't call the name because I don't want to bring no persecution upon you. But he kept saying, I'm praying for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And he was so excited, so thrilled when God turned my captivity. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
And he, and, and he actually said to me, he said, you look better off than, than we are now. <laughs> because we've been through the storm and came out. Amen. Amen. God showed himself faith. Amen. And it was all God all the way through. I don't give no praise to myself. To the doctor, I thank God he put that doctor there that had faith in God to pray for me. Amen. Uh, amen. But it was all God. I couldn't have left it in the hands of people that had no faith in God. Right. Amen. That's it. So, you know, they, they, they didn't give me no medicine. They didn't know my God. <laughs> you know, they had me, this was that. They didn't give me no medicine. I didn't know. They gave me some steroids. That was it. <laughs> After that was over, they had nothing else. Doc, you tell me they, you ain't on no medicine, bro. <laughs> Doc tried to make me grow on something. I said, no, I took care of that. God took care of that. It's, it's all over. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. What did you do, Pastor? I went to God. And God took care of it. It's all over. Amen. I'm serious. I, I, I monitor myself. You know what I mean? I check my blood sugar and all that, blood pressure and all that kind of oxygen and all that kind of stuff. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm good. Amen. Only by His grace. Amen. 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 But what I'm about to say is they're not God. They don't know it all. Amen. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Lord. And the only thing I wish is that they would admit that. That's all. Mm. And admit it to their patients. This is the best I can do, but I know I, I know you might you got other options you can try. But uh, this is the best I know. Amen. But they ain't gonna say that. Because they've been told not to. They've been brainwashed into believing that that's all there is. Hello? Amen. Many of them already know if they can get you to eat right, exercise, get proper rest, Amen. and take care of yourself. Right. Amen. You can come off that medicine. Amen. But you know why they, they don't? Because they've been told they ain't going to do it. I'm real. But they run up on so many cases where they told people to do it and they didn't do it. Amen. Sad. Yeah. For some reason, this nation of people, and Rob as well too, had to learn how to follow instructions. Yeah. <laughs> but I had never had a problem following instructions. Right. Amen. So whenever a doctor tell me, or, or won't tell me about those other options, they, they didn't put me in that Vote with the rest of the people. Mm. Oh no, I love instructions. Yeah. <laughs> I tell that all the time. I can't read between the lines. You gotta talk to me straight. <laughs> the mother folk might not get that. They make them figure stuff out, but I can't read between the lines. You gotta talk to me straight. Yeah. And daddy talked to me straight. Yeah. I'm real. Amen. And I be trying, and I messed up one time because I had I would ask God about people used to uh, talk about, you know, Joshua interpreted dreams, Daniel interpreted dreams, right? And a lot of people have that gift, that uh, whatever it is, I don't know what the gift or what it is. But I, I knew a guy like that. You tell him your dream, he'll tell you about your whole life. Wow. Well, you told me your dream, I tell God, God tell me what it means. Amen. All right, that's where it was with me. You tell me your dream, I talk to God. Same time you tell him, I talk to God, God tell me what it is, and I tell you what God said. Mm -hmm. I've had people try to go against what God was saying, and they were wrong. <laughs> I'm real. And, uh, and it turned out just like God said. They never come back and apologize. It's like 10, 10 lepers. You know, more than one came back and said, Thank you. Yeah. Amen. So I was craving that gift. Long for that gift. Mm. Should have been thankful. Mm. That's why I'm out there. Sometimes talking to them little symbols. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to say, at least he talked to me, right? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. At least he talks to me. Amen. And, uh, and you know, because God was always like, Remember Moses said, God said for me and my servant Moses, I taught him face to face. That's the way it was. God taught me face to face. I, I, God taught me like you talk. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He still me from time to time, but it's real. Mm. For real. Amen. Now I do like y'all. <laughs> way through the vision and the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other time? He just taught me like you're not talking. Are you listening? Yeah. But that happened because I wanted that. But prior to that, he taught me straight. Mm. Yeah. He taught me straight. Because I can't read between the lines. Amen. It take, it, if I had to read between the lines, it'd take me months, years. <laughs> figure it out. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I told him straight. So if the doctor would tell some people straight, but I already know because past experience. Mm -hmm. 
that if I told you this alternative method, you're not gonna follow it. So that's why we, we have started just giving you the methods. Mm -hmm. So when you come in, we write a prescription for the side effect for that one. And they told you straight. And then you come back in for the side effects with that second one I gave them, write your notes. Mm -hmm. Now you got three medicines for the problem that came with me the first time. You had one problem. Now you got three problems. Mm -hmm. then, you, then you come back with another one, you write your note prescription for that one. Now you got four problems. Mm -hmm. They were telling you straight. Yeah. But how many of them tell you that now when you take this medicine, it's going to cause you to have this problem, that problem, that problem? How many of y'all tell y'all that? How many doctors have told me that? Mm -hmm. Not one. I went back to my doctor one time, and then I, back in the early 2000s, somewhere in there. I, the enemy tried to give me the morning. I refused to accept it. Right. It didn't take. But needless to say, when I went to the doctor, they put me on that thing called Alquin. Alquin mm -hmm. will cause your tendons to rupture. Mm. Are y'all here? Mm -hmm. So I went back to my doctor because I got over. I went back to my doctor and my doctor looked at me and, and he was talking like, oh, you're doing real good. I said, thank the Lord. But I had to get off that Alquin. Thank you, Lord. So you want to know what I'm taking, so I told him. <laughs> so, uh, and I looked, and I said, and, and he said, well, why you stop taking that? I said, because, you know, that night was going to cause your tears to rupture. Uh -huh. You know what he said to me? Uh -huh. Ramon, you're kidding. Uh -huh. Really? Really? Uh -huh. If I was sickly, yeah, it might, but I'm not sickly, so why would it kill me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, I'm, if my body, we can already, you know, sickly, Yes, yeah, possibility in the morning to take me out. But if I'm strong and healthy, you know, and do the right thing, I'm gonna knock pneumonia out. Thank you. So why would you tell me that? Because he's so used to people not being taking care of this. Right. So he's people not doing the right thing with their health. So he assumed the morning would take me out. No. God ain't gonna let it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So then so then I learned that that. Why the system doing what they're doing. But they're not God. Amen. They're not God. Let me make sure they're not God. Amen. They don't know everything. Amen. And we discovered that now through this uh, dealing with this thing called COVID 19. Yeah. We're finding out that the doctor don't know everything. Amen. Now he's coming back and apologizing because they made a mistake with y'all's life. Amen. I'm not going to follow with that because it's already coming out. Everybody's beginning to get wind of it now. So not necessarily to go back into it. I'll tell you about it long before it happened, before they even start coming out talking about it, I'm warning you. Mm -hmm. Now we see it's coming out, now they're verifying it is true. Hello, somebody. That's right. So you know you see the signs, the sign, these signs say ride, enter, mm -hmm. at your own risk. Mm -hmm. No, I'm telling the truth. That's some place you go and say enter at your own risk. Right. Mm -hmm. Ride at your own risk. Yeah. Take this at your own risk. Amen. <laughs> so they need to put that disclaimer up instead of asking y'all in secret to sign a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Everybody listen to me know what I'm talking about. Right. Well, you take it, they make you sign a disclaimer. Right. They ought to put that up on the outside door. Right. Say, take at your own risk. Right. Instead of saying, we, we give it here free. Right. You get it here free. Right. No, they need to put that disclaimer out there where everybody can see it. Take at your own risk, That's it. even though it's free. Hey, glory to God. Not knocking anybody here. Amen. So you need to understand, and, and somebody might say, well, Pastor Carl, why are you talking like that? Because I have to. I love my people. And that's light-skinned folk and dark-skinned people. I love my people. Amen. We're all human beings. That's right. We're all of the human race. That's right. And a lot of my people ain't got good sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, why do you think they put safety caps on certain kind of bottles? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think you got to put certain latches on your house to keep your children being active? Yeah. But they don't know any better. Yeah. So you gonna just leave it all open? Because yeah. you say they already know? Why would they? Why should they opt to know? Do they study? Do they read these things? Do they follow? See, I've been following that every. I've been following that for so long now. I, whenever they came out with a flu shot, mm -hmm. when I was old enough to study, I've been reading up on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So when they came out with something else, I said, "Ain't no way in the world." I did then. I'm not doing it now. Okay. So even before I knew what was in it, 
You probably knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. Even before they even developed it, they got it out. When they first started mentioning, I said, Now, listen. Now, Lord. You know why? Because I've already done enough study on it to know all the side effects and all the bad things that happened to people that were on those kind of things. A lot of folks don't understand it, so they think it's okay. Trust the signs. Go right ahead. <laughs> False signs. Yes. Trust it. They went against their own protocol. Mm -hmm. Let me say it one more time. The requirement was for the safety of the human race. Mm -hmm. That's why they had that long testing and period of trials mm -hmm. before they would release it to the public. Right. Because they understood things are not going to show up right after you well, ingest it. Right. Mm -hmm. It takes time mm -hmm. for it to come out. That's right. It takes time for it to saturate your body. Mm -hmm. There are people that took chemotherapy and they've been off it for two years and they still got it in their bloodstream. Mm -hmm. It's still in their body. Yeah. It's still affecting them. Mm -hmm. I know people now can't deal with sun, bright sunlight because of their chemo. Mm -hmm. They've been off for two or three years. Mm -hmm. So did that stuff just go somewhere? Mm -hmm. No. If it's still affecting them after they've been off of then they take no new up, no, no new shots, no new treatment, and two or three years now they've still been affected by that chemical. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? You're going to say it. I was like, yeah. I read. Amen. It's something about reading people's skin of Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is that you don't, they don't know what kind of effect it will have on you next year. Right. Or the year after that. This is a, this is an outright act of fear, and I'm not going to talk about the other part that's behind it. They in desperation. Trying to get back to normal. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about the evil ones that they have. No. I'm just talking about the ones that the little peons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just doing what they told to do. Yeah. They're doing it out of fear, trying to get back to normal. Normal gone. Yeah. I'm going to tell you when we, when we really lost normal, hmm. September 11, 2001. Amen. We have not been back to normal since. Amen. But you got all of you talking about, we want to get back to normal life because you don't pay attention to what's going on in your country. <laughs> what's going on around the world. All Thank you know about your little box. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. your little yeah. cage yeah. under your little tent, and that's all you see. Yeah. Not even realize that all that stuff that went on out there, before that wasn't in this country, is now in this country. It's coming. That wasn't in your state, is now in your state. Thank that wasn't in your county, is now in your county. That was not that was in your county, but not in your city, is now in your city. That wasn't in your yeah. city, that wasn't on your street, that's now on your street. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if it's on your street, if you ain't careful, it's gonna be in your house. Yeah. 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 Living in a cave will get you dead. Amen. Amen. Come out and look around and see what's going on. Hallelujah. And I don't understand. Mm, 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 mm. I don't get it. Are we so tone minded that we only look at one thing? Television. Mm -hmm. This is the access to almost all known knowledge. Yeah. Y'all understand that? Uh -huh. This is a portal uh -huh. to almost all known knowledge. Yeah. How are you only thinking about what kind of clothes you go with? <laughs> How are you only thinking about your hairstyle? <laughs> How are you only thinking about the latest gossip? Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Yeah. Are you crazy? Hey. Technology is so wonderful now. I got a portal in my hand to almost all the knowledge. Uh, yeah. Right there. Right there. Mm. And all I ever go in here and look at is McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> video movie. <laughs> or some music. Thank you. You brain dead. Woo, <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Y'all see that Facebook? Yeah. yeah. Access. Access. Yeah. About almost anything. You name it, I can look it up on here and tell you about it. <laughs> what you name? It? Morocco, Nigeria, uh -huh. 
I can't name all of those different little cities out somewhere, Sudan, Somalia. I can go in here and find out what I need to know. How in the world are we so isolated that we don't really know what's going on? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Brain dead. Matter of fact, I knew you were talking about being a father. I'm being a father now. Okay. That's right. Thank you. I'm being a spiritual father right now, nurturing and teaching his children. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Now let's look at 6th chapter book of Galatians and see what mm-hmm. else it mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to start, I'm going to read that six verse. I'm going to start the first verse, read down to the six verse. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all don't get mad when you turn me off and go the other way. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, you which are spiritual, I consider myself spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering yourself that you also be tempted. Hello? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to help people recover themselves. Bear you one another burdens, so it's my, my responsibility to do what? Bear your burden. And so fulfill the the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, what will think? He deceive of himself. Mm-hmm. So if I had nothing to offer you, and I tried to offer you something, then I'm fooling myself. But I had a whole lot to offer. Mm-hmm. And y'all gather that out of this little discussion we had a few seconds ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. So you know I got a lot to do. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Let me let, mark that verse right there and let me go somewhere with this. Prophecy. We've had so many prophets and prophet this and prophet that, and there's a real and there's a fake one. Amen. A lot of them come here, some of the stuff they say are true, a lot of them wrong. But never have God told me to tell y'all something that didn't happen. Amen. But that's proof of a true prophet. When God warned us about the, the pandemic, about the plague, I told y'all. Amen. When I first saw it, I warned him. And I told him it was coming. Mm-hmm. I said, I see bodies, dead bodies everywhere. I see children running around trying to find their parents because the parents did. Mm-hmm. Hello? Amen. Hello? Thank you, Lord. Then when I thought we might have got by, God warned me, no, we had. And I got up and I said in 2019, I said, I still see it, Saints. I still see it. It didn't go away. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I feel like I can't stop it. Amen. Came out in December that there was a, a, a virus loose in, in China that was dead. By March, it was here. Mm-hmm. And they found out recently it was here in December. Mm-hmm. Mm. See how much y'all can study this? Y'all that they read this, watch it, pay no attention. You know that. That's they right. found they discovered now that it was, in December. it was here in December. That's it. That's it. Like what I'm thinking. But God warned us. And I taught y'all, I said, learn, memorize the 91st Psalm. Sure did. And especially that 10th verse. Mm-hmm. That shall no evil befall me, neither yeah. shall any plague yeah. come down my dwelling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this ain't like, you know, God didn't give you a spirit to follow, but the insight to look and see these things happen and warn you before they happen. Amen. And to prepare you for them. Hello, somebody. But you both follow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Follow for the Train up their children in the way they should go. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The raise them up in the ammunition of the law. I think I've been doing a pretty good job. Whether you want to submit or not. Amen. Amen. So he goes on to say, listen. For every man should bear his own burden. Burden. I can't get nobody else to carry off with me. I got to carry. Let him that is taught in the word, this is what I'm trying to get to. That's why I say I want to start that verse. We don't like it because of the good stuff that's in there. Let him that is taught in the word do what? Mm-hmm. Communicate unto him that it teacheth in all good things. Mm-hmm. So I'm teaching you a word. Amen. So you should at least communicate with me. That's right. Amen. Y'all got it? Amen. You know, a teacher standing for in a public school or a private school or whatever, and they teach in their class, and the students never answer a question. Mm-hmm. If a teacher like me, they feel like you feel. Mm-hmm. I'm not generating enough interest in them to make them want to ask a question. I don't just teach by word, I teach in deed and in action. Mm-hmm. The thing works in my own life. They're always saying, Lord, I'm not generating enough interest in people want to say, mm-hmm. how, how that work for you? How you get that to work? Yes. I'm for real. Yeah. I got people, listen, the knowledge I have, okay? Mm-hmm. And y'all heard me say this before. A friend of mine said to me, How many old as you are know all that? <laughs> you ain't got to be knowing all that old as you are. <laughs> 
What does age got to do with knowledge? Amen. If anything, age should be the reason why I do have knowledge. Amen. I guess he done met up on so many people that were old and dumb. Old and dumb. <laughs> 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 you see, this kind of, you pray for me. Y'all can't understand my speech. You think I'm, you don't understand I love you more than you love yourself. Just pray for me. So, I mean, you sit right here watching all this going on. You don't learn nothing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You said all this stuff going on around, you don't learn anything. Yeah. I didn't even realize this until I was until pointed out to There's some people that watch movies and stuff to, to pick out of them what they know gonna happen later on. So mm -hmm. Hollywood be warning us. Yeah. I'm real. Yeah. And they'll sit there now and watch these movies and pick out stuff. They say, oh yeah, that's getting ready to happen. Uh -huh. So Hollywood be warning you. Yeah. They're all about that play. Hollywood be warning us for years about that play. Yeah. So they yeah. the movie. What are they doing? Tell you what they're getting ready to do. <laughs> they don't tell you ahead of time what they're getting ready to do, but you say that's oh, that's just a movie. Uh, it's yeah. just a conspiracy. See, so they got y'all's conspiracy in your head so much they can say in, the media can say it's a conspiracy and you believe the hook line and say uh -huh. Do your own research. Stop letting people oh, tell you what to say. When I first came to the church, I said, God didn't give you your brain in your head for just a hat rack. <laughs> How many preachers y'all heard tell people that? I told you to think for yourself. If I teach you something I came back and prove my scripture, then you're going to have to accept it. And if you feel like you understand what I'm saying, you want to challenge it, go right ahead. Amen. Sit down and talk to me. I'm not scared of you questioning me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hello. I just want you to agree with God. Amen. So once God convinced you that what I said was so, and He did say it, don't be no hard-headed person. Amen. And learn things the hard way. Just go ahead and do what? Submit. Amen. I don't mind if my daddy said, uh, uh, "Do your sins be like scarlet, make white as snow, or something like uh, uh, crimson, make like wool?" You know what he said? Yeah. Well, who did he say that to? Yeah. Go to the first chapter of Isaiah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I sure go to Isaiah. For all you that think you can't question God, I'm about to. See, the only time you can't question God when you're trying to tell God he's wrong. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to learn the truth, you talk dead about oh she caught a nazi shot. You can talk to dead about anything. 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 He don't care. Mm -hmm. He wants he wants you to talk to him. Yes, yes he does. Yes, How many of y'all know that? Amen. 18 verse says, This is what he said. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Man. Come now. Mm -hmm. Come now. Come now. All y'all listen to me. Come now. <laughs> and let us what? Reason, reason together. God ain't scared of you reasoning with him. No. Read the rest of that when you get a chance. I just want to get that one. <laughs> God don't, you know, ain't, the only person scared of you reason with them is somebody got something to hide. Amen. God ain't got nothing to hide. The real and reality of it is that God knows everything about you anyway. Lord! The scripture said he understands your thoughts to fall. Mm -hmm. Before you even got ready to think about it, God knew you were going to think about it. Woo! Glory! Mm -hmm. Some folks get it right there. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. But if God already knew all that about me and all this about me, then why would he help me? He did. He said, that two ways set before you, life and death. Why can choose life? What more do you need? Oh, you know, I told you what you choose life. Woo, glory. What do you mean? He said choose to live. Oh. And not die. Oh, right. So he's going to tell me that I, I don't take no play to the devil do we? Mm -hmm. He said, turn ye, turn ye. Now he's telling you. Hello. He said, drive here. Let that wicked man forsake his way, that a righteous man his thought, and turn unto me, and I will abundantly pardon him. Lord, thank you, God. Amen. Y'all ain't taking no death of people dying and going to hell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell y'all something that people don't get. It ain't. If y'all need to understand this, God ain't going to prove himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Say it one more time, that's right. He already, he already did. Amen. Woo! How? Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, that's how. Mm -hmm. And God not flexing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait on God to flex. That's why I say they can throw their thumb up in God's face and say, I, I dare you to do it. I'm going to tell you, listen, if anybody out there like that heard somebody say this or you said it yourself, hear the voice of the pastor talk. Hear Bishop. Hear Dr. Clark, because I do have a doctor degree. Listen, 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 listen. Hear me real clear. 
I would do them. I said, Sam. <laughs> I asked God a question about really about the sin, but I asked God this question and God shut me down right quick. He said, son, you can't wake me out. Mm. Wait, W-A-I-T. You cannot wake me out. I'm eternal. You'll be in judgment. Your body will die and you'll be standing in judgment before I ever change my mind. Amen. That was it for me. Amen. Amen. That was settled. Come on, say, that settled everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go all the times you want, delay all you want, but ain't nobody in danger but you. Amen. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. I need to say that one more time. You can throw as many tantrums as you want. You want to try to get out of doing what God said to do. You can delay doing what God said to do as long as you want. But there's no one in danger but you. Amen. <laughs> so I think I'd really go and get that straight now. Oh, Lord, yeah, I just want to thank you. I'm talking to you as a father and father. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I hope somebody teach. So Jesus. I go ahead and get that straightened out so, it'd be, so I'll be right with God and he'll take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whole lot of stuff I don't understand, whole lot of stuff I can't see. Whole lot of stuff I'm telling you that I don't like. Yeah. But you know what? I love God. Yeah. So I let the Lord handle all that. Amen. 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 I give all that to God and let him handle it. Yes, Lord. And just keep on loving. Yeah. Keep on doing what he tells me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because he can take care of me. I can't do it. One time I went, to, I went to Mississippi, I was preaching in Mississippi in a revival, and I, I was had people saying, I, I told them, I said, God got you. Mm. I said, you saved, you born again, you're a child of God, God got you. He said, you in his hands, he's greater than all, and no man can pluck him out. Pluck you out, brother. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want you to say it, say, God got me. God, God, God. So we, I had a time that holiday, we had a great revival, a great time with the Lord. And so I'm coming back, I have a meeting to be in, in, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and there was a hurricane coming in. But no one had called and said they were canceling the meeting. So all I knew the meeting was still going on. Mm -hmm. So I was heading up the road talking to God about that hurricane coming in. Mm. I said, Lord, nobody called me, nobody told me to cancel. I needed to finish my, my, my certification. I said, so I can get my license. And I said, so uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to trust you. And I heard this a clear day. I got you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If anybody would look at that car, they saw it doing like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> the one in control of it was doing like that. <laughs> Amen. Very just clear thing. I got you. Uh, thank you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, when you serve God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, He got you. Amen. 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 Glory. Now, what, 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 what? what that's what it, what it was. If I take my last breath, God got me. Still <laughs> Paul said to be present in the body, to be absent from the Lord. To be absent from the body, to be present in the Lord. Then he said, I have a desire to depart. What? To be with the Lord. But it most excuse me that I remain. Amen. And since I've already been to heaven, since I already walked and talked with you, in heaven. Amen. I brag on me to praise him for the gift and privilege of being able to do it. I have no doubts. I know that I know that I know that I know. That I know. And last week he, he, I asked him to, but I didn't know he was going to do it. He surprised because I don't know he's doing what I'm doing now. And he just walked up. I could literally feel him standing there. I'm real. So how do you feel when you're not there? Same way. I feel him all in and all over. But when I when I feel him bodily with me, I literally feel the body stand by me. Mm -hmm. For real. And maybe why some people, when I'm coming, they ain't even looking at me, they can sense me coming because that'd be the presence. Amen. But I see him standing, he was busy enough, and I couldn't ignore mm -hmm. it. I had to go ahead and give him his arm and just praise him. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's not something normal. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. That don't happen all the time. Y'all know what I'm saying? That don't happen all the time. The angels be here, I see him, I feel, but no, I, I never sense them like that. They don't feel like that. Right. So we ought to be thankful that our Lord is alive, that he is real, Amen. and that he, there is a heaven for us. Amen. 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 But there's also another place. Amen. And that too. Amen. Don't want nobody to go. Flee. You know that big man said he wanted to go back and tell his brother not to come there? Amen. Well, I'm here to tell you don't go there. Amen. Amen. Talk about hell. Amen. Ain't no bargain in hell. Amen. There's no swimming in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've seen that. I've never been in it, but I've seen it. 
And I saw the people being thrown in. That was scary. It was liquid fire. I'm not talking about like five spots, I'm like spots like that. I mean, it was liquid fire. I never seen nothing like that. All, the closest thing on this earth lava. to what that is lava. Woo! Jesus. Mm. And they're being thrown into it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I warn you as a father of the gospel, mm. don't go. Amen. It ain't worth it. Mm. Now, the pleasures of this world is not worth it. Mm. Hello, somebody. Mm. Especially when all these pleasures this world got, the, the apple got hope of worms in it. Uh, the Kool-Aid is boiling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. If I got a little more graphic. Mm -hmm. So, when you begin to realize that you got somebody in your life, a leader, prophet, a pastor, a teacher, apostle, whoever in your life, that knows God, where was Martha at, at the meeting at the house? And where was Mary at? Martha was in the kitchen cooking. Don't worry about what. <laughs> that, that was a, a, a testament, a gospel testimony of a spiritual minded Christian and a yeah. common minded Christian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Martha was what? Common oh, minded. Man. Mary was what? Spiritual yeah. minded. Because Jesus said, he cleared it up so fast. He said, Martha, you come, you, you, you're burdened. But a whole lot of concerns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but your sister yeah. has chosen the best part. Ooh, the word. That is to hear from God. Woo! The word of life. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what is the best part when it comes down to your natural life and your spiritual life? Mm -hmm. They were not for that meat that perishes. Mm -hmm. But for that which endure for everlasting life. Right. They're not your treasures on earth where the thief can steal and the moth can't corrupt. But they're your treasure in heaven where the moth can't corrupt and the thief can't steal. Mm -hmm. But where your treasure is, yeah. when did Jesus say, also. your heart will be also. You can always tell what the, in conversations I'm talking to people. I got preachers that I talk to all day. Are y'all listening? Amen. Some of my conversations are always scriptural. Amen. Always spiritual. Amen. And some of I talk to, always what? <laughs> Come. <laughs> but when they can't get they can't get in the head, the ones that are calling can't get in the head, I can sit right there and let them talk and do what they do and then turn around and tell them what the Lord says. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even understand how I keep that separate. Because it ain't in me. You can do all the talk you want to. I done located you. I know where you're at and I know what you need. Mm -hmm. So when you give me a breather, I'm going to drop something in there. Mm -hmm. And hope they're fine again. Mm -hmm. You know what? I need to start paying attention here. Why? Why? Because there's no other way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. No man can come to the Father oh, except he come by me. Yeah. Now watch this. Everybody got a Bible. Turn to St. John 1 and 14. Mm -hmm. First chapter of St. John, the 14th verse. Let me show you who Jesus is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Glory, I love them songs, baby. You know daddy love babies. <laughs> uh huh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And this is one of the most, most revelatory verses to me when it comes down to when I'm talking about scripture and different things. And people be talking about, you just got to live. I, I'm strange when people come around and, and God be moving and his presence is there. They always talk about, man, you scare me. <laughs> so if it ain't nothing left, I, what, what's scaring me? 14 verse said, and the word was made flesh and brought among us. So who was made flesh? The Word. So who do we know was made flesh? Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And we beheld his glory, and God only has one son. Mm -hmm. right. We are all sons in that son. In that right. son. Woo, glory. And we beheld his glory, the glory as the what? Only begotten of the Father, <laughs> full of grace and truth. The so the Word of God. Jesus was, wasn't Jesus in the beginning. Jesus was the word. Amen. But then God's word became flesh. Amen. And that's when he became Jesus. Amen. Hello somebody. Amen. So 
That's why I emphasize the fact about following the word, abiding in the word. Hello, somebody. If you want to know Jesus, find what the Bible says about it and accept that. It's kind of like, I used to say this all the time, it's kind of like putting a boat a, a in the bottle. <laughs> I still had to say, some of them cut the back off, put it down, and some of them, they blow the first part, and yeah. put the bottle boat in there, and they blow the back part. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen nobody just take some tweezers and small stuff and go down inside that bottle, build that boat in that bottle. <laughs> but we had this earth suit. Make me run around the building. We had this earth suit that God never cut the top off, cut no. the bottom out. But somehow, Amen. somehow, God put a new man inside this body that's created in his image and after his likeness. And he said, Put on that new man. Amen. And make not provision for the flesh and fulfill the lust thereof. Amen. Let your neighbor say, Walk in the new man. Walk in the new man. Because in him is the, the, the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We wonder what we did today if we had a daddy job. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Stop letting the world fool you. There is no other way. Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, is the only way to the Father. No other way. He said, You abide in me. Now, why, and I don't know why, no, but I mean, this word has been preached in the church for thousands of years, and people still ain't got it. Hear these words, I want you to hear them, especially young people. Those guys, they have to not be distracted. Boy, I want you to hear it too. While you're young, I want you to hear it. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. This is what Jesus of Nazareth, Yeshua, said. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. Why ain't the saint rooted and grounded in that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm talking about that promise right there. Mm. Why they examining that promise, dissecting it and meditating it and, and chewing it up and spitting it back out and chewing it again, do they fully comprehend what he just said? Mm. Say, if I stay in him, if I live in him, I dwell in him, I have my being in him, and let his word stay in me and live in me and have it being in me, I can have whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know about that. I, want. <laughs> I can have whatever I want. Amen. I can ask what ah! I want. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's right there in front of them. You want to fight you failing and coming up short, the church don't mean nothing to you because you ain't abiding. Mm. And he's not abiding in you. But when he abides in you and you abide in him, you can ask what you will. And I'm telling you, God has all the time, and God keeps showing stuff, he's messing with you. No, 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 no. And I'm asking, I'm believing him for greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. Somebody say greater. What do you mean? I want to Oh, shall I be a seat? Oh, Thank you, God. I'm going to leave that alone. But I say to you, saints of God, listen. The reason why people can't get into this, they don't follow instruction. Follow instruction. If you abide in Jesus, and the words abide in you. All that failure that you've been going through, all them shortcomings and coming up you want, will become past dream. You'll, you'll look back and you say, What's that weird? Amen. Because you'll be so so into God now, baby, moving so now, you'll look back and say, I can't believe that ever happened. Mm -hmm. Where was my life that shattered? Mm -hmm. Where was my life up and down like that? You be saying, what that really mean? Mm -hmm. It means all you dream. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Yes. You look back and say, I can't, I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. That would mean. Because you didn't know. And people be saying, well, Pastor, you know, you got to grow up. No, Jesus said, as yeah, you become as a new one. If, what do you say about him? Let him help. Except you become as a little child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's been a problem all the time. We don't want to be children. He said, for such 
Mm. Did y'all get that? Such is the kingdom. You trying to become grown. <laughs> and Jesus said, for such is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Father, we so thank you, thank you Lord, for the word today. I pray that someone is encouraged to pursue the things of God and mm. stop following yes. the ways of God. They don't, the world don't know what they're doing. They keep changing what they say about stuff they over and over and over again. Mm. And now they got so many people in danger and trouble. And there's people, the people really don't know what to do. But the saints should know. We should be the light. We should be the salt. So, oh God, remind your people to stop trying to be like the world and be who you call them to be. Thank you, Brother Holy Ghost, working with us, the willing to do of your good pleasure and your good pleasure that we may have the kingdom. For you've already given it to us through your son, Jesus. Touch every heart, touch every soul. Listen to me right now. Let them not be ashamed of this. Let this trouble them until they bow their knee totally to the Lord Jesus. Now I'll be careful ever to give you the praise. All the glory and honor for the people that are bowing their knee right now. In Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, name I pray. They want to say amen. Amen, amen. And amen again. Amen. If you can't give God a wave offering, amen. God is good to you and me all the time. Yes, and with our Father, Thank nothing you. is impossible. Thank and Lord. you know what? Because I believe nothing is impossible. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. May God bless you. Smile upon you. Thank you. Uh, your patience, fathers, happy Father's Day. We all supposed to be examples to our children. Mm -hmm. So, we ain't supposed to be talking about, uh, uh, you do what I say, you don't do what I do. We're supposed to be by example. Mm -hmm. We're always talking about, well, well I you know God said, raise them up and train them up the way that you go, and you're not far from them. Mm -hmm. So, if they're not acting what God say, act like, then guess what? You can do your job. And instead of you trying to be proud and arrogant, keep trying to cover it up and lie about it, you need to come on, come clean, but you go to hell down there. Amen. How many of y'all know all lies on the lake of fire? Amen. When the first chapter of uh, Revelation, the eighth verse, you don't believe it. Amen. All lies on the lake of fire. Oh. So quit lying about that. Just come on, confess up. Amen. And I messed up. I missed it. I did do what I was supposed to do. And I'm a truly messed up, Lord. I'm a, if in any way possible, let's break this curse right now. Amen. Amen. Show me how to break this curse right now. We're going to stop this right now. You'd be surprised how many, how many parents have tried to justify why their children turn out bad. Children. Parents. Parents, children. Children, parents. And a child went bad. A parent good. <laughs> Parent good, child bad. Bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it. I just told you. <laughs> no, everything we produce out of this time. That's all right. The fruit don't fall too far from the tree. You don't go to no pasture and get no apple. <laughs> if you go to a pasture and there's apple laying up under that tree, mm. don't go out and tell nobody that there's a pasture and that's an apple tree. Thank you. <laughs> Because you'd be a fool. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. And the people didn't get that so simple. They sit right here and they were trying to spiritualize it and mess that up. Yeah. <laughs> a dog don't produce cats. Thank you. You got it? Amen. And a cat don't produce dogs. Thank you. If, that, if a dog come out of a cat, oh. some man put that dog in there. Oh, thank you. Man, man hand was in it somewhere. <laughs> if a cat come out of a dog, a man put that cat in that dog. Ain't no way. Man is the only one be messing with, with, with the genome. I always messing what God did, trying to mess up something. That's what that's where the evil come from. That's it, exactly. God bless you. Appreciate it. Uh, you come, you listen back to call, you're going to get some common sense. Yeah. You're going to get it or hate it more. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank God for all those of my family that already saw me, tithes and offerings to the work of the Lord. And you, by way of Facebook and YouTube, if you'd like to send in your tithes and offerings, you may do so. A lot of folks don't go to church, they're watching by way of YouTube and TV. I mean, and, and Facebook. So, amen. This is your church. Yeah. So, if you need to start sowing your tithes and offerings, 
And I don't, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm bragging on Jesus, not me. I'm a stickler for God's word. Amen. Things don't come by talking about what's going on in the community unless you're applying the word. Amen. So what to do about it? And a lot of folk out there talking about all this, this gossip and terror and all this mess and not giving you God's word on. Hello. How you gonna solve the situation you don't give the people? Amen. Amen. But it seems like we hooked on gossip. Mm -hmm. We hooked on uh, uh we always look for some the, the next the next uh trend. Mm -hmm. We need to wake up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus said the word that I speak yeah. unto you. They are spirit and they are life. David said, I cried unto the Lord and he heard my cry. And when God wanted to deliver them, the Bible said he sent his word. Did y'all get that? Yeah. Psalm 7, Psalm 20, verse 1, read what he said. He said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them. Amen. So when people want to be delivered from something that's harassing, oppressing them, mm -hmm. you don't need to hear all, like, all that other people. Thank you. you need to hear the word of God. Amen. Hello, somebody. So I, 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 I can actually say with all, without a shadow of a doubt, this is a word ministry. Amen. And it works. Amen. It works, it works, it works. I mean, we got testimonies across the country, across the globe. It works. I just don't publicize all those testimonies. I just tell them they're on the way. You know, sad part about it, people still say, well, because you want to tell you, I'm going to tell you why. Just because God did it, we don't even want to do it with you. Thank God's testimony. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank God for your testimony. But just because God did it, you don't mean he would do it for me. Amen. Well, how do I get God to do it for him? Same way I got him to do it for me. Amen. I got it the word, believe what he said. Amen. So how did you get the word? I heard it preach. Yeah. Amen. So if you want to support a minister, support a minister that preaching the book, chapter, and verse. Yeah. And breaking the word down and showing you how to apply it. Yeah. So that you can go out and put it to work yourself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Not, not anybody at home. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So if you like to send it off, you know, our cash app symbol is the dollar sign L V E three nine two one. And and we appreciate everything you give. And, and uh, I'm not gonna talk about tax deductible anymore because I, I really don't care about that anymore. Amen. Amen. Because of what what uh, the people that we've been paying our taxes to is doing with our money. But we're gonna pray for them. Amen. Need God for help. Amen. Amen. And they'll start doing the right thing. Amen. Amen. But if you like sending off and, and no no donation is too small and no donation is too big, Amen. we take it off. Amen. So whatever God lay on your heart to give and sacrifice, uh, man, send it in. If you're not paying your time off, and we got people that don't come, they ain't not able to come, and they're tying in. Amen. I'm ready. And send it in the offerings. So don't think that that should end you. If you feed, if you know that the word of God is coming from this mouth and through this venue, then please Amen. support it. Amen. Amen. Why? Because I'm feeding you. Amen. 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 Now, the other way you can send it, if you want to send a check or money order, PO Box 769, Dillon, South Carolina, 29536. We do have a PayPal account, but I prefer you not to use that because they take part of God's money. Amen. 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 So, part of your money won't be going to the ministry, it'll be going to the PayPal. Nothing wrong with that. They can provide yeah. a service, they won't charge for it, then that's their right. But if you can mail it to me, purchase on the order um, by check, you go about 769, Delta, South Carolina. Going to do the same work we'll be doing, we'll be doing. Amen. Traveling, hopefully, we'll do a lot more in the future. As I've often said, we support ministers around the world. So it's not like you just give it to us, you give it to a whole lot of other ministers. And we appreciate what God has blessed those years to do for those ministers. We want to do a whole lot more. Because there are avenues that people that I cannot reach, that I'm in communication with, and none of the ministries that I'm, I'm affiliated with can reach the meeting. I would like to have a plan. And I would believe in God for favor with every country and every government so I can fly in and out. They won't say nothing. Amen. I'm ready. Thank you, Lord. You think God can do that? What God can't do? What is it God can't do? Amen. God gave me favor with men anyway. Amen. With governments anyway. Amen. So I'm believing God. He blessed me to get a plan. Then we'll be able to take support. They don't want to have to worry about how we're going to get it done. Amen. 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 A lot of stuff they send over to you, they never get to no people. Mm -hmm. They get stuck with the government. Mm -hmm. They never get into the end parts of those countries. And people don't even know that. Yes. All I'm saying is the same as dog. You study like I study, you research like I research, you find out. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff never get to them. Mm -hmm. I'm hung up in the board. 
How many made the council? Mm -hmm. Government holding it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the people still suffer. Mm -hmm. Still going through. I'd love for you to go in and out. And I'll be touched. Mm -hmm. Be clothed and sheltered. Amen. Hallelujah. Bring y'all like to the house. Amen. Amen. Don't take the two of us to agree on it. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. No, we didn't make it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you'd like to support, we appreciate all that deal, and I decree and declare that you will receive 30, 60, and 100 fold over. Because when you saw into this ministry, saw into a blessed ministry, God touched me and anointed me years ago. Years ago. You know, just read you know, I could name some of these guys came out talking about miracle money. But in the early 70s, when God first, after God yeah. first saved me, I started walking yeah. in miracle money. I never talked a lot about it, never preached about it, because I was supposed to preach the gospel. And these signs follow the gospel. They don't follow, you know, me talking about that God bless me more than me financially. But I've seen God manifest money, tangible, right in, right in people's pockets. I've seen God counsel people's bills. That was on that. Amen. Over the years, I know God do to me. I've seen people that had debt. Uh, when they had the young man just Friday morning, about $10,000 in debt counsel. I know somebody had $25,000 counsel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're not serving a dead God. A living on fair day. Hallelujah. A statue. We serve the true and living God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. I, I tell you now, you will receive 36 and 100 fold if you believe and so from your heart. Mm -hmm. May God bless you. Definitely smile upon you. Lord, we're not happy to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to my prayers on social media Wednesday night. Amen. God, this is wonderful. Now, remember, this is getting real close. We're living some trying time right now. 